Uh, don't bite down on fishing line. Um, get my front tooth rebuilt after biting down on some 20 pound. Uh, burly cages, hooks, burly cages with sinkers, bubble floats, burly floats, pencil float, little float. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. So the weather this weekend uh, is much better than it was last weekend. I didn't get out fishing, I'm about to go fishing now, but I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how I'm carrying all my tackle and what's in my tackle box at the moment. Um, I really I really wanted to get away from these guys. They were uh, bulky, um, took up my hands, uh, and carrying them around just wasn't efficient. So I recently, purchased a Shimano backpack. Got it online a few months ago from Davos Tackle. Does go on sale fairly regularly at various online locations. So you can just keep a, a Google alert or whatever on a price drop. I'll go through the bag quickly. Um, I'll try and get through quickly. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, so in this side pocket, I'm just carrying a couple of extra um, corks. Uh, that's just for uh, any hooks that I have snooted up that I want to uh, keep. I can just put them in there, in this main part of the pocket. Got a couple of extra um, plastic bags, they're always handy. Um, I have my my uh, backup headlamp torch. It's not anything special, it's just a backup one. I've got some of the soft plastics that uh, Neb's Fishing put me onto, some baby squid. Use them a couple of times, haven't caught anything yet, but I'm sure I will. There's a, a plastic pocket in here, about passport size and also the same size in a mesh, so there's lots of different storage options. Um, but that's really all that's in that section. Coming around to the uh, other side pocket, in this side pocket I've got uh, my scents, so they're easy to get to. I've got my Procure uh, and also S-Factor in there. In the main part of the side, this other side pocket, uh, it's a bit of a utilities um, uh, pocket, I guess. I've got about four different types of, of knives. I've got my fish measurer. I've actually got a little uh, selfie stick holder, uh, a pair of Samaki split ring pliers, and the trusty pair of scissors, because as I learned about a few months ago, <laughs> uh, don't bite down on fishing line. Um, get my front tooth rebuilt after biting down on some 20 pound. Um, just from the outside as well, um, I really like uh, the quality of the bag. It's a really thick denier, um, tough material. Um, but it's also got some really great padding on the shoulder straps, on the back of the backpack here, um, and also down at your lower back. I quite like, um, I quite like this uh, strap around the front that gives you a little bit of support when you're carrying it, but also I've used it to uh, you know, wrap around a pole uh, when you're in a bit windier conditions on a, say on a jetty, etc. So we'll get into the main part of the bag, but as you can see, there's quite a bit of width to the bag, and there's also quite a bit of depth to the bag, so you can actually get quite a bit of stuff in here. So up in the top section, um, you'll be probably surprised with what I can fit in here. So I've got my my trusty uh, Shimano hat, which you uh, probably see me in quite a lot. Uh, my scarf, which keeps the flies off and, and also some sun. I've got two medium size uh, pre-rigged um, hand reels with the Inku floats and stuff for, for squid teasers or, rig or jigs. I have my main headlamp light it's nothing special, um, but it gets the job done so far. I may upgrade in the future. I've actually got six different uh, types of uh, hand, uh, sorry, of uh, leader and, and line. So I go from my really light rod, which is the, the um, Shimano F Leader eight pound uh, fluoro to 16 pounds. I've got some 20 pounds as well. Um, and then in the various uh, heavier leaders, I go from a, a 30, 60 to a 100 pound, depending on what we're fishing for. I've got a can of, uh, a can of sunscreen uh, that's really useful. Um, I like spray on sunscreen because it means you can spray it on, you're not getting it all over your fingers, getting it on your bait, your lures, etc. Uh, my Inku um, hand towel, a glove, a heavier glove, just in case you need to do with some bigger fish. Or I've got about six, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six packets of various Z-Man soft plastics and a couple of, of others, so that's handy in there. Uh, a spare Inku float, and then I've got some spare, about four different spare um, various uh, squid jigs. Um, these are actually the new ones, which I'm looking forward to trying today. These are the CTD jigs. Um, young lad from uh, South Australia selling those. 
uh, Coast Till Dawn um, CTD jigs. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, I think I was getting them about, I don't know, I think I got five for 30 bucks delivered. So can't complain, can only give them a go and we'll see what we can do. So that's quite a lot of stuff uh, to fit up in there. Um, if you're thinking about your own uh, sort of tackle, what you're carrying, uh, I'm sure you'll be able to get an idea of, of what of what uh, what you can fit in your bag. It's, it's normally a pretty easy thing to put it all back. Oh, sorry, got to, you do sort of got to have a bit of a, a system, get it all back sort of, the stuff you use the most sort of closest to the top. And then my hat goes in there. So it just reminds me to always take the bag, obviously. Uh, whereas when I had tackle boxes, I'd sometimes forget the bag and uh, then I wouldn't have my hat and things like that. In the front bottom part section, I've got a couple of glow sticks. I usually carry the spare, um, the spare uh, YouTube, oh, sorry, GoPro batteries. And then we've got sort of, we've got four tackle boxes um, and they're all, the way I've done it is splitting them into different types of fishing. So the first one is my um, lure box. Um, generally, the, obviously you saw the soft plastics were up the top. This is my harder body lures, um, etc. metals, uh, and it also is carrying all my squid, sorry, also carrying all my jig head, heads. So you can see, you can see that. So you could literally uh, just take this one out if you wanted to and have quite a bit of fun. The next box is what I'd call my bread and butter box. Um, this is uh, really for all the um, standard sort of bread and butter species, chasing on baits, you know, Tommy Ruff, whiting, garfish. It's got, you know, everything you need from, you know, uh, burly cages, hooks, burly cages with sinkers, bubble floats, burly floats, pencil float, little float, um, you know, different swivels, different size hooks already pre-rigged, you know, ready to rock and roll. So you can see that's quite a handy little box either down uh, you know, off the jetty, estuary, wherever you want. Uh, the next box is my uh, squidding box. I'm not crazy <laughs> uh, like a lot of people that have a million different types of jigs, um, but I do have a few. So the, the jigs here are the, the Inku jigs up the top, the CTD uh, jigs there, which as I said, I'm hopefully gonna try out today. Um, some of those cheapy jigs that you get, um, say with the, I actually got them with the, um, uh, the hand reels and stuff and then the really blue glow. Uh, we've got some squid spikes as well um, and some float stoppers, etc. So that's a good little kit. I can obviously chop in, uh, change in and out different jigs uh, if I choose. This last one is uh, really more the heavier fish. So if I was live baiting, uh, if I was surf casting, etc. This is what I'd be using. Looks a little bit messy, but it's not really. That's just a, a spare uh, live baiting rig. So as you can see in this one here, we've got some, um, some beach uh, grapple sinkers. This is my big salmon lure that I use uh, catching the larger salmon over on the west coast. One of my favorites, been chewed up a bit. Got some heavier sinkers, some heavier swivels, and you've also got, I've got in here my very old, but still using um, uh, light machine or white oil for my, for my reels. Various, uh, various different hooks, etc., in there as well. Uh, as well as some uh, some balloons for those uh, ballooning that we've been doing lately and hopefully we'll have some success soon. So that's a bit of a rundown of this uh, kit and setup that we've got. Um, I find it really useful. I don't know if you've got any ideas of how you, uh, or any suggestions on how you can be more, even more efficient with your, um, with your packing. But uh, yeah, I find this one, you know, really useful, um, can take it anywhere. Um, and as I said, it's a really good quality one. Um, but would love to know um, if you're using it or have something similar, what your thoughts are. I'm thinking about getting an additional packet uh, or case just for my soft plastics as I'm starting to grow. Any comments or suggestions on, uh, on what works well for you with that would be fantastic. Hope that helpful. Leave a comment below. I do answer all the comments um, and uh, I'm gonna head out fishing. So uh, catch up with another video uh, and hang about. Um, for waiting for my next new one.